welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the Rise Podcast. The Rise puts a premium on souls. That's what we do. We put the premium on souls. We we want to see people come to the Lord and we want to see them have uh, a place in heaven, right? So so we die, right? We don't know if we're going to die today. We don't know if we're going to die tomorrow. We don't know if we're going to pass on in, you know, in a few weeks or a, or, or a year or 20 years or 50 years. But we're going to pass on. And that's just the fact. And tomorrow is not promised. So the word tells us that the road to salvation is wide, to, uh, is narrow. But the road to destruction is is is, is wide, right? So the road to so destruction is why. So that means that a whole lot of people are, are headed towards destruction. Now, a lot of people are heading towards destruction uh, here in the natural. But what specifically this passage is saying is that they're going to hell after, you know, death. But but the most the most important thing because we're we're we're, we're we, there's a race against time, right? And 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 that tomorrow's not promised, and and, and we know that. That we got to get it right before we leave this earth. So that's the way God set it up. That's the way it is. If we don't want God here, you know, why would God want us in eternity where he dwells, where he where he resides? Now, the exact answer to why he is, you know, made it that way is, is, is when we get to heaven, we'll find out. If we get to hell, we'll know. You know why we're in hell, and then and it'll be justified because God is a just God. More, more than that, He's a loving God. He's made a way for us to get into heaven that is by the skin of our teeth, but it's easy. You know, all we have to do is believe in our hearts, and we and we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord. That Jesus is Lord. For that, that belief in our hearts, that 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 counts to uh, to us as righteousness right because jesus had to come and he had to do what he had to do on the cross if he didn't do that if he wasn't the son of god if he didn't bring salvation then if if, if, if he wasn't if he wasn't our our scapegoat if he, if he didn't go to hell in our place if if, if he wasn't our atonement and, and, and our sacrifice well we couldn't do it we, we, we could go to the cross we can get beat we can get we can get you know pummeled to pieces we can we can you know suffer but we can't make it to heaven see he did that for us because he had the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus is sinless so he was our atonement right he's our reconciliation he's he's the reason why we can be reconciled back to the Father. so the rise we put a premium on souls and what we do is really simple. We lead them to Jesus. We tell them the gospel truth, why he died on the cross, who he is, the son of God. And all they have to do is choose to believe. Listen, we, we choose to believe a lot of things here. You know, and, and this is part four of this series. Um, soul winning is easy. And, and I want to tell you why it's easy. Right. And we, we already went through why it's easy because because it, when we're connected to God and we understand his heart and we're we're one with heartbeat with his when we change our desires and our hearts for his desires for us and his heart and, and when we adopt the mind of Christ then we begin to understand what souls are and what salvation really is all about and, and it's that easy and because he made it easy for us all we have to do is believe and, and, and confess and ask him for forgiveness and of course then we have to build a relationship with him. We have to be in an active relationship with him, uh, in my opinion, to, to stay saved, you know, and, and that's where the battle comes in because the enemy is going to, you know, do everything he can to destroy you. And he would do that. Believe me, he would do that without you uh, coming to the knowledge of Christ and accepting him as your savior. And he would do that uh, if you didn't come to the knowledge of Christ. So he's always going to bring, you know, trials and, 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 and tests and, and, and he's always going to bring obstacles and, and challenges and, and and you know who knows what else he's going to bring <laughs> like, like you know how the world is and you know how life is it's 
it's not cookies and cream for some of us it's 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 horrific in many ways you know but but he is our salvation and he is our strong tower he is who we run to to be safe and he'll take this oh he'll take away the pain and he'll take away the tears we don't have to wait to go to heaven for that all we have to do is have a, a deep understanding of who he is and then and then have a relationship with him that will uh, and, and will activate you know the the healing in our life so we serve a good god and a loving god so thank you for for being a part of the rise the rise is a ministry that activates believers and christians to get up out of their seats to rise up and to to go into the harvest field and it doesn't just come with an activation like a, a, a preaching work but it comes with the demonstration of power a drop of the holy spirit and an anointing on on this ministry in the believer's life like like yourself you know so there's a holy spirit drop that that solidifies and sears the 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 the, the intention of soul winning and and the purpose of soul winning and then it gives you the power through the holy spirit to go out and then win souls right so we already discussed how there's a battle there's a battle in within our flesh comes against our spirit there's a there's a battle you know the, the bible tells us that the flesh wars against the spirit and so so the flesh is is against the the the, the, the true nature of god because it's a, it's a curse it's a it's a it's the flesh is is a part of of, of the natural you know but we live by the spirit right so that's what the rise is about we activate churches so we, we go from church to church who don't have a pure soul winning ministry you know a lot of a lot of people have outreaches but their purpose is to bring people to the church or just to do a good deed feed them and pray for them but it, they're not pure so they're not pure soul winning in these days, there was a time, I guess, where it was all about winning souls. You feed the, the, the hungry like Jesus did. He fed the hungry. He fed 5,000, right? And then and then he preached to them. And then he preached the message of salvation, right? He preached how to act and how to, how to have a relationship with him. Then he preached, you know, salvation, coming to him, knowing him, you know, you know, so that's what, that's what, this is all about when we join you to partner with us i'm going to put a little a little thing right here it's it's going to show you know uh, uh, a link where you can go to our web page and then you can uh set up a payment plan to help us out and partner with us twenty dollars fifty dollars a hundred dollars whatever you want a month and we would love to have you we're believing for twenty two thousand souls in 2022 um and we need you to make that possible and attainable so we see in uh the world right now that you know the governments are loosening up on on the mandates you know and and, and the lockdowns and, and the and the vax scenes you know um so they're and, they, and they're opening up their borders for for you know for for uh travel so that's awesome for us because we're gonna we're gonna be able to, you know Sri Lanka is open to us and Poland is open to us and, and um, Japan is open to us now. Um, I don't know about Poland. Don't quote me on Poland, but I'm sure soon. And then uh, Brazil is open to us, and we you know so we're gonna do that. And that's that's with the American Awakening. But I'm going there representing the American Awakening and the Rise. I just want to be truthful about that. So we join you to partner with us, be a part of this, give to this soul winning ministry. And then you don't have to be there because I know you have to work. I'm in full time ministry, so I can be there and representative of you and me and us believers and Christians who, who want to win souls. So you don't have to be there actually winning souls, but because you partner with us, you, you know, you're 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 in, not directly in the front line, but you're in behind the scenes. Right. So a, a Super Bowl team that goes to the Super Bowl, everyone who's who's an active member of that football team from the top to the bottom gets a Super Bowl ring. That's the owner. That's the, the, the manager. That's that's the, the you know the, uh, the the what do you call it the, the bench. That's the bench, and of course it's uh, second string and first in the first string, and the starter. So they all get they all get a ring and uh so when god divvies up the rewards because you know we look, look we come with a crown 
of souls. That's what we come with. Because there's nothing else we can bring God. He has everything. He owns everything. So we bring him a, a, a crown of souls and we lay it at his feet, you know, and and he, he'll the he, he, so you get one of those and I get one of those jewels on our crown. Right. And then we can, we don't come empty handed. You don't come empty handed. You know, the conversation will be like, hey, uh, Mr. So and so. And this is between Mr. So and so and God. I see that you partnered with the rise and they want 22,000 souls where well, you you have a, a big part to do with that because you gave into that you know it doesn't matter how little or how large but you gave into that you helped support the, the movement that i put on the heart of phil and ginger Marte and and, and, and and his team and his people that are that are and you're a big part of that so you get the rewards and we're going to divide those rewards to you evenly <laughs> so you know god is good God's good. What he can give us, no man can give us. And what we want is not for man to give us, but for God to give us. Amen. All right, so let me get started here. I want you I want you to I'm going to I'm going to come I'm going to I'm going to show you something. This is utterly like despicable we're in end times. And we're talking about about winning souls, right? But we we we're, we're trying to figure out you know, about winning souls and and, and we have to determine in our hearts that hell is real. Um, there's a lot of pastors that don't preach about hell because they don't want to scare their congregation. But it's nothing to be scared about. It's something to face. I don't want to go to hell. Hell is hot. It's hotter than Florida. <laughs> you know, the hell is hot. And and, and 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 if anyone can imagine a hell, hell like you know, I read the book 23 Minutes in Hell. But if he can imagine that and it's a lie, well, I can imagine that. You know, we have no concept of hell, the, 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 the horror that it is. But, man, the depiction in, the, in that book of hell was horrifying. And if, they, if, it, if it's worse than that, if he's lying, which he's, I don't think he is. I think mean, he had a vision of hell. Man, I, I don't want to have anything to do with it. If there's anywhere near close that. So, I, I don't, I, you know, I don't want to go to hell. And guess what? I don't want my worst enemy to go to hell either. Because you're talking about, you're talking about, I can forgive my enemy. I can forgive them after, you know, uh, uh, immediately or or a year or 10 years. But hell is forever. And I don't want my worst enemy to go to hell. But watch this. This is sickening, in my opinion. Let me turn this this way. And so listen to this. And this is this is this is what we don't want. We don't want people coming to this place of hell. These people are possessed by Satan. They're lost. They don't know. So we have to start like getting out of the church building and going and talking about the love of Jesus Christ and just introduce it to them. We can so easily talk about anything, you know, uh, if it's money, we will approach somebody and say, hey, you know, show me how to make money. Right. This is this cost. This is more valuable than any type of money. This is more valuable than life itself, because we're talking about eternal life. Now, listen to this guy. He's talking about fundamental principles of morality, but you know, his idea of morality is not God's idea of morality. So he's he's overtaken by, you know, this concept that that is so dark and perverted and disgusting because he doesn't have people around him that say, hey, you know, Jesus is is, is the truth. You know, you, you have a plan and a purpose. And, it, and it's not to, to this is by the way, this is a professor. You can find this on Twitter on libs of, of TikTok libs of TikTok. So this is a professor who's who's uh, perpetuating and and, 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 you know, trying to progress the idea of of that. It's OK to, to have sex with children. And this is a, a major university. So, I, you know, I, I tell you that people are people are gone that they, they, they're going off the deep end. And when it when it says 
when when, when the word says, uh, crazy, do not write that I'm book. Sorry. When the when the word says that the, the the road to destruction is is wide, this is this is exactly what what he's talking about. Now now watch this. Watch this. Listen, Same guy, and then guy another guy. For 25 years, has been making arguments, more or less, in defense of adult child sex in classrooms. Uh, and I don't know if I don't know if it's the same argument as yours, but I even authored a piece in the Daily Beast in which I called into question the age of consent laws, uh, which is you know, and I, I brought to bear the arguments I was making in class, and I'm going to see how they whether they jive. Uh, so the adult child sex, that's always a big seller. Oh yeah. So yeah, and, and, and this is where the people are headed today. You know, they're normalizing transgenderism and they're normalizing, you know, um, all these activities that come against the word of God. We, we have to stay strong. You know, we, we, have to, we have to be all about the word of God and we have to stand firm. You know, I heard somebody say yesterday that, you know, in, 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 the, in the 40s, 50s and 60s and, 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 and of course, uh, you know, through the through, right around the, the 70s, that Christians, you know, the conservatives used to do what the what the liberals are doing now with control over speech. And let me tell you, it wasn't control over speech that that the the, the conservatives were were active in. It was through a relationship with God, knowing that these things that people are saying are disgusting and they're not they're pervert they're perverted. And so we don't want to introduce an idea to people who don't know, who aren't sure. This is the voice of Satan. That's satanic. You know, that 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 message with child, man, adult, child, sex, that's satanic. And, and, and they're hurting, they're hurting, you know, children and openly. You know, even even suggestion, suggesting that this is a normal lifestyle and it there's it's it's a, 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 a you know it, it's a question of morality how, how was that moral but th th this is where they are this is where how they're they're lost you know they, and so so now we don't bash them we still have to be use self-control and love them regardless and that's a hard one to love i'll be honest with you even 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 you know i mean god died for for the pedophile you know, he died for those that are because they're 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 lost. So we have to take on the mind of Christ here and the heart of Christ. Here. They're lost. Woe to them when they die. They're gonna they're gonna wish that a milestone was was wrapped around their neck and they were thrown into the sea because they're not gonna have to deal with at least that's just death. You know, they're, they're gonna have to deal with with uh, eternal um, torment, weeping and gnashing of the teeth. The worms don't die. It's dark. You can't see your hand before you. Your eyes, you know, and, and all you hear is, is is weeping. I mean, you know, it's total torment. To the torment, the demonic spirits will come and, and just rip you apart. You know, and there's nothing you can do. I mean, there's just nothing you can do. Well, that's what it is to live without God. It's evil. It's 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 wicked. So so, G God through God through an angel Michael through Satan and, and all of those that that rose up against God. He threw them out of out of heaven. Out of heaven. And, and 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 they came here like a like a lightning flash, like a lightning bolt. They came here, and and, and then you, you hear you tell you hear in Genesis that the earth was covered with darkness. So so God brought light, and he brought and he brought a garden in the midst of that. And so what surrounded that? The, the garden of Eden is heaven on earth. It's 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 a place for man to to, to take dominion, but it's surrounded by demons and darkness and, and, and torture and you know and, and, and they, they were safe from that until of course they disobeyed God right so they fell man fell and that's how death came because now we have to deal with that each and every one of us because we're all sinners and we've all have sinned you know by our choice we all have sinned we didn't have to but we made the choice and quite frankly um we're cursed to sin but then Jesus came and he took that sin away from us. So people need to know this. If people go on life thinking the way that these people are thinking, they're, they're going to be lost for eternity. 
And our mandate and, and, and what God is doing in our lives here is bring is ask you know he's directing us to bring a message of salvation to 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 get out of this dark thinking and that doesn't exclude the pedophile it doesn't exclude the murderer it doesn't exclude he said for everyone he doesn't ex exclude you know the, the transgender like this this whole this whole thing where when people think that they can have a baby i mean they they, they think they can have a baby Okay, so listen, let's 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 watch this one. This one is this one is incredible itself. I mean, but you know, you can't fault people. I mean, you, 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 so I recently told my parents I think, that I. I think it's you. more about the church, not doing what the church is supposed to be doing. We need to start getting and jumping on this. I think in these end times, it, it's all about souls. It's all about souls, right? In these end times, it's all about souls. Listen to this guy. You know, I, it's a little funny, but it really isn't funny because people are, are, are dying and people are, you know, it's not funny. So I recently told my parents that I may be a little bit romantically interested in women. And that was a big shock for them considering the past 10 years of coming let out me, as gay, then queer, then... Let me go back. Let me go back because I messed that up. Let me just, let me just rewind it. And then let me go here. Let me go here. And let me go. Nope. Let me go. Here and here. Yep, here we go. I'm going to start this over. So I recently told my parents that I may be a little bit romantically interested in women. And that was a big shock for them considering the past 10 years of coming out as gay, then queer, then non-binary, then trans. And I think it was just a bit of a shock. So I told my dad, he goes, well, I would love to see you get a woman pregnant. And I said, oh, no, 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 she would be getting me pregnant. And then he said, what, do you have a vagina now? And I said, never say never. And then I tell my mom, and she goes, I would just love to see you own property one day. And in California, that's sort of, you know, a, a parent's dream. It's not having kids or getting married. It's, it's are you able to own a house? Yeah, would that be nice? Yeah. Again, that's lives of TikTok. You can go in there and just see how the leftists and the liberals and the, the mindset of a demonically possessed person thinks but but how a person can think a woman can get a man pregnant it totally it, you know it goes beyond uh understanding it goes beyond any type of comprehension so you you know this isn't a normal you know that this is satan just just clobbering them with lies and they're they're so open to sin they're open they're not protected by truth right the power of the holy spirit is the spirit of truth right and, and when you when you get filled with the knowledge of christ and you get filled with with truth you 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 um you start to know these things okay. now let's read this second timothy 3 1 through 5 amplified bible difficult times will come and we're here you know this is you know, this is the beginning of them, but for Americans especially, but but if you go to Africa, man, and that they're killing people, they're cannibalizing people, just like in Nineveh, um, here where, where babies are dying by, by the millions. And so, you know, we gotta, we have to be the people who God called us to be, to see America turn around, and the world. If America turns around, the world will turn around. But we have to evangelize our own cities. We have to evangelize our own communities. We have to evangelize our workplace. We have to evangelize our friends. We have to tell them the truth about Jesus Christ, right? Because if we don't, hell is real. We're going to hell. We're safe. You know, hey, look, I'm going to hell. I'm, you know, I don't, I don't know if I, if, if I bring a soul to the Lord that I won't go to hell, you know? Uh, I think that's a big part of it, right? But, but, um, but, but that's just my opinion. You think how you want to think on that. But, but I don't, I don't, I don't know how we can't just not share the gospel to people and, and people are dying and going out. Listen, but understand this, that in the last days, dangerous times of great stress and trouble were there, right? Will come difficult days. This is the amplified uh, edition uh, ver uh, version. So will come difficult days that will be hard to bear. For some of us, man, you know, I can show you people just screaming and yelling and, and 
road rage and, and, and be, you know, people burning, you know, riots everywhere. I mean, people are losing their jobs. They lost, they've lost their, their, their businesses, you know, through like uh, BLM and things like that and, and TIFA and things like that. And so it's hard to bear for, for people. That, you know, I just thank God that I have Jesus Christ who, who you know, is my rock. And, and, I, and I just put all my burdens on him. For people who will be lovers of self, narcissistic, self-focused. Tell me how true that is. We see people, they're all about themselves. They don't care one bit. And even in the church. So you got ch Christians going from church to church and service to service. Just, you know, Lord, what can you do for me? Lord, help me. Lord, guide me. Lord, thank you for what you've given me. My house, my car, my this, my that. Me, 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 I, I, I. Right? And, it's, and people are going to hell. We're not focused on other people. You know, listen, when you take when you take care of other people, God will take care of you. That's just bottom line. You can't outgive God. And, 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 you know, there is a return on your sacrifice. There will be lovers of money. Oh, my goodness. And money, money, money everywhere. Everybody wants money. And you know what? We're, we're doing really good in America. We've got money. We're, we're okay. We're not. You know, we're getting fatter and fatter in America. We have air conditioning. We have cable. We have a car, whether it's a beat down car that that is a clunker, but we have one. And and we're we're getting by. And we're doing a whole lot better than other. I went to Sri Lanka. And Sri Lanka, man, they didn't have doors. They didn't have doors. It was a large community of people. Didn't have doors. They had you know what they had a curtain. Just slide bathroom curtains. You know, that's what they had for their doors. For people will be lovers of self, narcissistic lovers of money, and impel, and we have doors. Impelled by greed, boastful, arrogant, revelers, disobedient to parents. Oh my goodness! Ungrateful, unholy, and profane. This is you know you can't watch a television without profanity. You can't watch a television show. You can't watch a, a you know a, a you scroll down these TikToks and you scroll down like let's say TikTok and and Instagram. Every other one is F this, F that, MF this, MF that, you know, and, and, and oh my goodness, um, you know, God this and God that, blasphemous, blasphemous. And they will be unloving, devoid of natural human affection, calloused and inhumane. We need to be interjected into these people to bring the light and the love of Jesus Christ, because this is where they are. Ir irreconcilable. That means that they, they're not. They don't want to reconcile back to, 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 to God or to people that are long lost in their lives due to some kind of issue or problem. Malicious gossips, the void of self-control. You know, we see we see pornography going in, in, into realms of, of like, you know, who knows, man? I mean, billions of people are watching it. They don't have self-control. Look at the women. They don't have self-control. Look at the men. They don't have self-control. They can't, they, you know, they, they, they take on... And, you know, I'm sorry, listen, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. They take on multiple, multiple people, you know, uh, in, in one setting for money, for, you know, for whatever, for the love of it, for whatever. I once heard a, a testimony of a girl who, who, who did, you know, 20, 30 people at, at, at a, in, a, in, in somebody's house. And, and they did it for no money. They did it for free because, you know, they call them train girls or something. I think it is. And it's just ridiculous because this is where they are and they're going, you know, they're not ridiculous. The, 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 the act and then the thought and the and the and the and, the, and the, the, the lifestyle is ridiculous, you know, malicious gossips. We see that all the time. I mean, look at the news, look at CNN, you know, the void of self-control, uh, intemperate, immoral. I mean, they they just yell out of the top of their lungs and just go after people. And they're 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 beating each other up, and they have the housewives of Atlanta, New York, of California, of all these other places, you know. And they they show you on there, and other shows just like that. Haters of good, if you're good, and you know, you, you know, you, you want to be a good person, and, and they hate everything good. They hate everything good. This is where we are today. This is a perfect example. Remember this scripture: traitors. Look at what's happening in our government. They're selling our country and our people. To other countries, to China, to you know the traitors, they're traitors. You know, the uh, uh, reckless, conceited, lovers of sensual pleasure rather than lovers of God, holding to a form of outward godliness. In religion, you have the most religious people. Well, they act just like the world.
And so you figure, you know, you wonder why the world isn't coming to church. Well, I'll tell you why the world isn't coming to church. The world isn't coming to church because they don't see anything different in the church than they do outside of the church. Just because somebody's talking some slick message, that doesn't make them come to church. It's the power of God. It's a, it's a, a connection with God that makes them come to church. It's, 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 it's a real, you know, not just by slick words and, 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 a great, and, a, and a great message, but by the demonstration of the power of God and the Holy Spirit, right? Miracles, right? They got to feel it. They got to feel it. That's why when we pray for people to receive Jesus, we include the Holy Spirit in that prayer many times. So lovers of God holding to a form of outward godliness, um, although they have denied its power, for the conduct nullifies their claim of faith. Ooh, man, that's that's. Let me read that again. For their conduct nullifies their claim of faith. Avoid such people and keep far away from them. Now, this is this is a message to the church, and and, and, and the concept of of not allowing them to infiltrate or influence you as a believer. But for but for me and you who are who are activated as evangelists who will go and, and, and win souls, this is exactly who we want to go to, right? We go into the fire. We go into the war, into the, the, the war zone. We go into the harvest. And that's what we do and why we do it, right? So in conclusion, I want to thank you for, for uh, you know, listening to me. And I'm going to pray over you because I want to download... I want you to have a download of an understanding about how, you know, we can change America, not just by protesting and going out on a truck protest, because that's awesome what's happening in Canada and it's beginning to happen here in America, because we do need to take a stand. But in addition to that, in a greater way, we need to we need to go into the to the places where these people are and, 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 sh and share the gospel and the love of Christ and the salvation of our our Lord Jesus Christ. Right. So I'm going to pray that over you. Lord, I pray right now that you bless those that are just hungry. They're hungry to, to, to do something, you know, to be a part of this, to, to be a part of the soul winning, to lead people out, out of the, the realms of destruction and into the realms of heaven. And so, Lord, I, I, I declare a, 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 out, a outpouring on them of the soul winning uh, empowerment of the Holy Spirit on them right now. May you drop that on them right now. If you just believe right now that God's going to give you the power to do this. You have the power to do it, but you want the Holy Spirit power. So just believe that right now. Take a deep breath and allow the Holy Spirit just to fill you and to enact you and activate you. Give you the power to, to have a stronger desire to win souls. Amen. Amen. I'm going to I'm gonna uh, cut it right here and once again, thank you so much. We love you. Thank you for being a part of the rise. In Jesus' name, you have a good one. And we'll see you soon. We'll see you soon.